This video is an introduction to communications with Morningstar controllers and inverters. It is the first of a series of training videos offered by Morningstar to show how to connect and interface with products through a PC connection. In this first video, we'll review different types of remote off-grid access, the type of connections that can be made, and the communications hardware needed. These links provide more details and information that will be useful. Most of what we will be discussing in this presentation is taken from the first few sections of the networking and communications document, which is an in-depth overview of all the communications capabilities with Morningstar products. Our product accessory compatibility matrix is a quick reference guide to what accessories can be used with different products. These accessories include communications adapters. The TriStar MPBT networking document provides step-by-step -step instructions for configuring an Ethernet connection for a local ne area network and Internet connections, which we will cover in later videos. The TriStar Communication and Applications Guide provides details on how to set up serial connections. Both of these documents include relevant information for Ethernet or serial communications with other Morningstar devices to a certain extent especially the TriStar Communications Application Guides on Serial Connections. Finally, there is a link to our MSView software, which is a free download from our website. This software provides an interface for programming, monitoring, and log logging data for all of our controllers and inverters, which have a communications interface. The help topics in MSView provides detailed information on how to use this software. We'll be offering several short training videos on how to use this valuable tool. The product manuals also have important information on communications capabilities for every product. We'll start with a quick look at the two separate types of networks used with Morningstar devices. The first is Morningstar's proprietary meter bus network for product-to-product -product communications and the second is the Open Protocol Modbus RTU Remote Terminal Unit for Serial Connections and TCP IP for Ethernet and Internet Connections. Then we will briefly discuss communications interfaces that are available. Morningstar provides MSView software for the use with all products that have communications capabilities. We also have LiveView with the TriStar MPBT using an internet browser with the Ethernet TCP IP interface. Since we use Open Protocol Modbus, our Modbus specifications for each product is available from our support website for those who have Modbus programming capabilities. Then we'll discuss networking capabilities that, and what type of PC connections are available. Finally, we'll look at several networking hardware choices. We'll be reviewing these options rather quickly, so please feel free to pause the video to review the detailed information included in any of the slides. So in this video, we will discuss the two types of communication protocol available with Morningstar devices. There may be more types of communication protocol available in the future. Morningstar's proprietary meter bus protocol uses the RJ11 ports, which are standard telephone connectors. Meterbus allows the Morningstar controllers and inverters to talk to the meters and the relay driver. Modbus protocol uses RS-232, EIA-45, and Ethernet interfaces for connecting to PCs and other Modbus networking equipment. It is an open and license-free protocol that is widely regarded as the de facto standard in the industrial automation industry. There is an abundance of software and equipment available that directly supports Modbus. RTU is used with serial connections for making a connection to a PC directly or within a Modbus network. Morningstar provides RS-232 and EIA-45 serial interfaces. TCP IP is for networks that use IP addresses for local area networks or internet communications. This uses an Ethernet interface. It is important to note that a Modbus network is completely separate from 
the meter bus network. It will not provide a connection to the meter bus, so if you need a connection to multiple devices at a site, it needs to be a Modbus connection. The meter bus network can only talk to the meters and relay driver. Here is a very brief overview of the PC software options for Morningstar equipment. The MSView software is a full feature package used for programming custom settings, displaying real-time data, downloading internally logged data, setting up PC data logging, displaying historical graphs of logged data, and controlling devices remotely. There are a lot of capabilities with uh, the MS View, so we will be producing several more videos in the coming months on how to use it. Live View can only be used with an Ethernet connection with the TriStar MPPT controllers. It can be accessed on an internet browser either on a local area network or over the internet. It provides three different views for real-time data, historically daily log values, and network settings information and adjustments. In addition, there are many third-party software solutions for communicating on a Modbus network. Many users and customers have designed their own web interfaces. Some types of automated control systems can respond to data on a Modbus network. Anyone familiar with Modbus should be able to easily work with the Modbus specifications. There are several providers that can provide data acquisition services over the internet. This example from WW Machines is the kind of online services available. Now we are going to look at the networking options. It is important to distinguish between the serial Modbus RTU options and the Ethernet TCP IP options. You can make a direct connection to a PC over a serial or Ethernet cable. However, a serial network is a Modbus RTU network, whereas an Ethernet local area network is a TCP IP network. It is only possible to connect to the Internet using an Ethernet TCP IP interface. Remote serial connections are possible, but they are basically direct serial connections rather than routed Internet connections. Here is an example of a remote serial connection using a landline. It is also possible to use cellular or satellite wireless communications for remote serial communications. However, there have been known to be some connectivity issues when using MSView with mobile communications, since slower connections can conflict with MSView's timing requirements. Point-to-point -point remote serial connections can save provider costs, but it has a limited range. It may also need to be licensed. In the U.S., the FCC regulates radio communications. While RS-232 supports only one device connection at a time, EIA-45, formerly RS-485 in this diagram, shows over 200 different dot units in the same bus. Each TriStar can be given a unique ID number so that they can all be individually addressed in the same network. In this example, Morningstar's RS-232 to EIA-45 adapter is used to network all of the TriStars to the same EIA-45 network, and the PLC controller pulls the, each TriStar according to its Modbus ID. You can also create a PC connection to the EIA-45 network and address each one with MSView. Here is a simple diagram showing an Ethernet TCP IP network configuration. The TriStar MPPT is part of the local area network and the router is set up with port forwarding to be able to connect over the Internet. In this final networking example, the TriStar MPPT 60 provides an Ethernet TCP IP link or bridge to an EIA45 network. This makes it possible to assign an IP address to the serial devices so they can connect to the local area network and the Internet. 
The remainder of this presentation will be about communications hardware, the most basic piece of hardware needed for every communications configuration are the cables. It is important to have the right cables. Here are the RS-232 DB9 9-pin straight-through cables. The ribbon style is good for fitting into tight spaces like inside the TriStar and TriStar MPPT enclosures. The straight-through cable is used when connecting from data terminal equipment like a PC or Morningstar controller to data communications equipment like a modem. If you want to connect directly from a PC to a Morningstar controller or inverter without any data communications equipment, a null modem crossover DB9 for RS-232 serial cable would be used instead of a straight through cable. Ethernet cable is commonly available for local area networks and router internet connections. As with direct PC connections, with RS-232 cables, a crossover Ethernet cable may be required when connecting a Morningstar device directly to a PC. However, new, newer PCs may not require this. The picture on the right shows an Ethernet cable connection to a TriStar MPPT-60. Of course, you will need to wire it through one of the knockouts to get the cover on. To the left is an RS-232 cable connection and left of, the RS2, two, uh, left of the RS-232 port is where the EIA-485 connection is made. To the right side of the Ethernet is an RJ-11 meter cable for connecting a TriStar meter. The meter bus uses a plain RJ-11 cable which is a standard telephone cable in the US and other regions in the world. Six wire cable will provide a better connection for longer distances. Now let's take a look at a few Morningstar Communications accessories. The PC meter bus adapter or MSC adapter is for Morningstar products which only have an RJ11 meter port and no RS232 port. It transforms the meter input into an RS232 input so you can connect to a PC or other networks. One thing to note is that these devices need to be set for meter bus protocol or mod bus protocol. So they can't be connected to both a meter and have a remote RS-232 connection at the same time. The, the USB meter bus adapter is similar to the MSC adapter except that it converts the RJ11 meter port into a USB port for connecting to a PC. This is very convenient since all of today's PCs and laptops come equipped with a USB with USB ports. The EIA 45 RS232 communications adapter or RC-1 adapter allows you to connect an RS232 device to an EIA 45 network which is great for being able to connect to many devices at a location. The meter hub is a meter for the meter bus for connecting multiple Morningstar devices to a meter or relay driver. Here's an example of a meter bus network using two meter hubs. Information from any of the nine TriStar controllers and the aggregated data can be viewed on either, either of the two meters. Here's an interesting way of converting the meter hub into a meter bus network, at least for these three products. You just need to program each controller with a different mod bus address. We have not tested this beyond just using it with one meter hub, so I'm not sure how many devices can be connected. Now we will take a quick look at some third-party adapters. The DB25 to DB9 can be used typically with older PCs. Triplight's USB adapter lets you make a USB connection to a PC for Morningstar devices which have a built-in RS-232 port. The nice thing about the new USB meter bus adapter is that for those products without an RS-232 port, you no longer need the MSC and Triplight USB adapter to make a USB connection to a PC. 
A USB hub can be used for making a USB PC connection to multiple RS-232 devices. Besides using the TriStar MPPC60 as an Ethernet bridge to an EIA45 network, there are third-party products available for making an Ethernet connection to RS-232 and EIA45 inputs. There are also third-party alternatives to Morningstar's RSC1 serial to EIA45 adapter. However, the RSC-1 is guaranteed to work with Morningstar products. Now moving on from third-party adapters, let's look at a few devices needed specifically for remote connections. Cellular modems are available for both serial and Ethernet connections. There are also landline and satellite modems available for setting up a remote connection. Be sure to check with the telecommunications provider to find out what type of equipment will be needed and that whatever equipment is used is Modbus compatible. It is also possible to use direct point-to-point -point radio communications to avoid telecom costs. This may require licensing and advanced security encryption is recommended if there is any concern about data being in intercepted. There are also long-range point-to-point radio equipment and options available for serial or Ethernet. In addition, it is possible to set up a wireless Internet bridge to make an Ethernet connection to a wireless local area network. Anyone familiar with IT and local area networks will recognize this as an Ethernet router, which can create both a local area network and a connection to the Internet. Morningstar devices should work with most routers. Using non-Windows based servers or, more, or computers will not be straightforward, but it has been done using some sort of Windows emulator and possibly a few modifications of the network settings. We will be providing video soon with step-by-step -step instructions for connecting and configuring local area networks and internet access. The last thing we want to look at is more of an industrial SCADA network product. Programmable logic controllers are found at most any off-grid site which uses automation equipment. Morningstar controllers use Modbus RTU which is compatible with these EIA45 networks so they can be connected to the Modbus network at the site to be pulled by the PLC. In this video presentation we discussed the meter bus and Modbus protocols. We looked at different software interfaces with Morningstar products and there was an overview of networking and hardware accessories. I hope that you found this video presentation useful for getting a better understanding and overview of how to make a remote connection to Morningstar controllers and inverters. If there are any details that you missed, please feel free to pause the video at any point or use these links for more detailed information. Please notice that I added the TriStar MPPT Bridge to EIA45 document to the list here, which I did not mention in the first slide. In addition, the product manuals include specific information regarding each product. Please visit our website for the most up-to-date product data sheets, manuals, and other support documents. We also keep the website updated with the most up-to-date software and firmware available for download. If you would like to receive product updates and information via email, please use the contact page. We encourage you to contact the manufacturers or suppliers of third-party devices regarding their use and compatibility with Modbus RTU and TCP IP. Thank you.